Cancer Alley is uh, an area in Louisiana which has one of the highest densities of petrochemical facilities in the U.S. But there's not a lot of information on the concentration of air pollutants in the region. Given how much pollution there is in the area, we would think that the government would have a lot of monitors around. Instead of that, what we actually have is that the industrial facilities in the region provide estimates to the government of how much of these chemicals come out of their facilities. But it's not a real measurement. If you look at the data and compare it to what you hear from advocates for communities, there's a real disconnect in what people are experiencing. And that's why we're here. So this is our mobile measurement laboratory, mobile observatory measuring particles and other pollutants, also known as mom and pop for short. And inside, we essentially have a laboratory on wheels. We are driving eight hours a day, six days a week, um, the same route over and over and over, so we can map out the pollution across this very large area. That first few times driving next to some of these facilities and seeing really large plumes, it was shocking. The toxic releases for that area, there's nothing higher. We were seeing you know, sometimes 10 to 20 times higher concentrations of pretty toxic chemicals like ethylene oxide. It's very clear that the ethylene oxide data indicates a, a pretty substantial underreporting. When you look at the data from our measurements, the cancer risks that we estimated are much, much higher than we'd allow anywhere else in the country under any circumstance. So we are underestimating people's risks if we rely on government models, period. I've been telling the world that we are dying. We literally are dying. The lady over there had cancer. The man over there had cancer. My brother had cancer. O Oscar died with cancer and so on and so forth. All down the street, we have cancer. They just want us to die so they can take our land and bring more industry in. But as long as we can fight, they will not bring any more insane games. People have been demanding change forever, but now we need that change to actually happen. We need to take the data that we've collected and place that alongside what the community wants and push for change.